Hi, this is Mobile Network Comparison, and welcome to our guide to flashing an English ROM onto the Lenovo A820. Before you start, make sure you've downloaded everything listed below and followed all the instructions, especially regarding the USB drivers. We're going to start off by loading the flash tool, and then simply check this box here, and then go ahead and load the scatter file from the recovery image you've downloaded. Once that's loaded, be really careful to uncheck preloader box here and then you can go ahead and just press F9 or click the download button to start flashing. Click yes here and then plug in your phone with the battery unplugged and it should automatically start flashing for you. Ok now we're done all we need to do is unplug our phone, pop the battery back in and reboot it into recovery mode by holding down the volume up and down keys as well as the power key simultaneously until we boot into recovery. So now installing the ROM is really simple. Just go down to install zip from SD card, select that with the power button and then go install zip from internal SD card, navigate to the folder where the ROM is stored on your phone and we can simply just click the correct file and then again using the volume keys to scroll up and down and the power key to select we can start the installation process. So here the wonderful Lambda ROM installer is loading and it's got a really great really simple touch screen interface so you can just hit next agree and then hit next again and again and now you just choose what country you're in so for us it's going to be United Kingdom in Europe and then we have all these settings, so you can choose what sort of boot animation you want to have. Here I'm going to choose the default Lenovo one, I'm going to have sound on. And you also have the option to install or not install various apps. So I'm going to add Gmail, I'm going to keep Flash installed, and I'm also going to add a couple of tools called GPS Test and Mobile Uncle Tools. And at the bottom here I can choose which launcher I want. So I want to have the default standard stock launcher from Android Jelly Bean 4.2 but you can also use the modified Lenovo launcher if you want and I'll show you some of the features of the Lenovo launcher after this installation has taken place. So let's just skip quickly through this. As it installs it tells you exactly what it's doing and at the end you can kind of go up and down and look through that list to see all the scripts that have been run as part of the installation. And now we're all completely done. I just need to tap next, make sure that reboot is selected and it will start booting up into my new ROM. So as ever, when the ROM first loads for the first time it takes quite a bit longer than usual, but soon you'll find yourself at the welcome screen and you just have a few settings to tap through, again choosing your country, um, settings, volumes, this sort of thing, date and time and then your phone is set up. Of course you can add your Google account if you've got one, you can choose whichever options you want, you can personalize it with your name and just a few minutes later you'll be booted up, in this case into stock Android Jelly Bean. And there you go, there's your desktop, fantastic. So the only other thing I wanted to show you was some of the features of the other launcher that you could have chosen and some of these are the animation effects so I'm going to have a look at what the flip effect and the sine wave effect look like here. And this is for the app drawer, so it flips in, as you can see, and then as you scroll from side to side, it's a sort of sine wave up and down effect. You also, in this launcher, have the choice of arranging your apps alphabetically. And let's see what other settings we've got. So you can choose the decoration of the icons to make you have a more consistent look and feel to your phone. So there's the Lenovo style round icons, silver icons, previously I had the pottery style icons and let's just see what happens when we change this. Now you can see all the icons are now in this nice rounded silver style. So again these are just some of the additional settings that are available to you when using this particular launcher on the Lenovo A820. If you've enjoyed this video or if it's helped please click the like button below. Cheers.